let's see how to create a full header in VHDL. So we start where we left off last time. So we have already created an AND gate, XOR gate and a half header using a structural style of modeling. So if you want to see those first, you can go check that video out. So for full header, we'll be making the full header using two half headers. So to do that, we can see over here a full adder for a full adder you need two half adders and a or gate so the sum of the full adder is just the sum of the first hard half adder with the inputs and the carry in and the carry out is just the or of both the carries so in this in our project we already have a sing we have already have implemented the half adder but we'll also need a or gate so let's just quickly create that Adding a design source, creating file. Let's call this thaw to one. For all the, it's just a or b. So we have made the or gate. So now let's start making the full header. So add a source, a design source. Next, create file. Let's call it FA. Full header has three inputs. So there's a C in, A, B, and then two outputs, a sum and a carry. Which are so three inputs and two outputs. This will be structural modeling. Struct. So as you can see, it's ready. So in this, we'll be using the OR gate and the half adder. So let's just quickly add them as components in this file. Adder and also the OR gate. And, and then as we can see the output of this the sum the first half adder is going as a, another input to this so for this we need one temporary signal in our code and also as we can see the output of both the carries is going as an input to the or gate so though both of them will also be a temporary signals we need to declare three temporary signals so what we can do is temporary signals or you can also call them intermediate signals signal so one for the intermediate sum is let's just call it s1 and c1 comma c2 so all of this will just be standard logic so now all we have to do is just map everything together so first of all let's just map both the inputs to first half adder so it's HA map A B and for the sum, we'll store it in S1 and it's carry in C1. Let's make another half adder. In this, we'll get the C in as the input. Then the intermediate is sub S1 and 
the sum for this would be our final sum. So we can just map it with S over here. And the carry for this, let's map it to C2. Then for the OR gate, we have to map both the carries to that and map that to the final carry which is C as we can see over here so now we have mapped the connections according to this diagram C in and the output of this to the second half header and both the car carries to the OR gate and which maps to the final carry out so we just save this So now let's just check if this works. So for that we'll have to create a test bench file for this. So add another source, a simulation source. Next, create file VHDL. Let's call it FADB. Finish. We don't add anything over here in a simulation source. So here we have it. Let's add this as a component. Clear all the signals. C N A P S C. And then map it. and then create the input so for that let's create a process begin let's give a zero to the cn uh, one for the a similarly for the b Then wait for some time, let's say 100 nanoseconds and make some more test cases. So let's say for this the carry is 1. And for this the carry is 0 and uh, 0 here as well. Then end the process. Now, in this, as you can see, if we just click on run simulation, it will run the simulation for half adder test bench because that is set as top. So, we'll click on this and set this as top. Then we'll just click run simulation. this okay so now in this you can see when the input carry in is 0 a and b are 1 the sum is 0 and the carry output is 1 and when a b and c and everything is 1 the sum is also 1 the carry is also 1 and when carry and a are 0 and b is 1 sum is 1 but the carry is 0 so as we can see our half adder our full adder is working properly